Hello, I'm Ruth Hale. Oh, little did I know when I was eight years old and used to crawl up on top of the haystack in the moonlight and play that I was an actress, that one day we'd own the longest continuously running center stage theater in America. After I grew up, I was not the least bit interested in acting. That was until after I met Nathan Hale and married him. (laughs) And right after that, we were put in as church drama leaders. It was during the Depression. We couldn't find a good non-royalty play, so we asked our bishop if the church could afford to let us do a royalty one. How much, he asked. Twenty-five dollars a night, I said. Oh, he said, that's more money than we have to run the recreation for the church for a whole year. Right one. And that's how we happened to get hooked as writers. For eight years, we traveled around the valley putting on our various plays. But now, World War II had started. Nathan wasn't drafted because we had four children. He came home from working at the Utah Copper one night, and he said, You know, I've been watching the men who are over 60 who are still carrying their lunch pails out there every day. I don't want to do that when I'm that age. I said, Honey, if you could do anything you wanted to do, what would you do? (laughs) He said, You know what I'd like to do. And I said, Well, I was reading the Desert News just before you got home tonight, and there's a shortage of leading men in Hollywood. Clark Gable and Jimmy Stewart have both joined the Army. Why don't we take you down now and get you into the movies? He said, okay, let's go. And that's how we ended up in Hollywood. Nathan got a job as a milkman in the daytime, and he played with the Altadena players at night. One day, a member of the cast who lived in Glendale said, why don't you two open a little theater in Glendale? Oh, he said, Elsie, we don't want a little theater. We want to get into the movies. And then she said the magic words. If you had a theater of your own, you could put on your own plays, and you could play any part you wanted to play. That did it. We found an old dilapidated home that had been made into a dance studio. It seated 125 people. That is, until the fire department came, and then it just seated 100. Opening night, we played to only six people. But word got out about the cozy, intimate little theater in Glendale, and audiences started to grow. One day, Nathan said, we've got to build us a theater that's large enough to hold twice as many people. Honey, you'll have to sell that land your father left you in Utah, that farmland. And now I'm afraid to die on me, Papa, because we did sell the land and now it's all covered with tract homes. In 1959, ground was broken for a brand new 230-seat theater. Oh, it was a gem, especially at that time. And it was then that our oldest daughter and son-in-law, Alan Dietlein, came into business with us and formed a new partnership. But all at once we realized that running two theaters was far more work than we'd bargained for. And so, uh, two or three days later, we found a piece of land right in the heart of Glendale and built the Glendale Center Theater. And it seated 450 people. The building, designed by Alan, was to house Glendale's only legitimate theater for 30 years. In 1983, Nathan sold the Glendale Center Theater to our partners, Alan and Sandy, and we decided to retire to Utah and play with our grandchildren and travel. The first six months, we covered a couch, braided a rug. Then I said, what do we do now? Nathan said, honey, let's start a theater here in Salt Lake. In our 70s, Nathan said, we got plenty of family to help us. And before the week was over, we'd found an old lingerie factory and bought that. Oh, I'm sure you've all been to this first one in South Salt Lake. That was run by the Deedlines and Swensons. Next, the Hale Center Theater Orum, run by our two Cody's and their wives. Then, the Hale Summer Theater in Grover, run by the Hale Daughters. And the new West Valley Center Theater, run by Mark and Sally Deedline and Sally Hale Rice. As I once said, it's an exciting life, theater but it's full of stress and strain. But I'll tell you something, there's never a dull moment.